Well, as those Australians arrive back in the country, the impact of the coronavirus outbreak is continuing to grow. With China largely closed off from the world, two of Australia's largest export industries are being dramatically affected. Universities will be hurt by a fall in international student numbers. And the tourism industry describes the potential drop in visitors as unprecedented. Abby Shi is preparing for her fourth year at Sydney University. She arrived from Shanghai just days before the government's travel ban on visitors from China. Personally, I feel relieved that I get to come back to Australia in time so that I can commence my study. But tens of thousands of international students aren't so lucky, now left stranded and stressed in China. I already paid the tuition fee for this semester and now I have no idea what should I do. Um, and it is frustrating. There's even a petition calling on the Australian government to overturn its travel ban decision, describing it as rash and reckless. It's attracted almost 13,000 signatures. With only a few weeks until the start of semester, universities are now scrambling to deal with a significant financial blow. It's a major revenue hit for our universities. International education is Australia's third largest export, generating more than $32 billion a year. Over a quarter of international students are from China, and some experts believe if they're taken out of the equation, the sector could lose almost $8 billion this semester alone. Today, the Education Minister, Dan Tian, held emergency meetings with university leaders to discuss how to minimise the financial impact. Ready, three, two. The tourism industry is also grappling with the fallout from the coronavirus outbreak. The Great Barrier Reef, usually a tourist hotspot, now on high alert. Uh, we must just in case, because always keep in touch with different areas of Chinese people. Coronavirus cancellations have already cost the region more than $10 million. This is a $3.5 billion industry. It supports nearly 25,000 jobs. One in five people in our community is directly a part of the tourism industry. Uh, and everyone in this community is affected when visitor numbers are down. An unprecedented blow to our most crucial industries. Lydia Feng, ABC News.